Those weren't the only down transmission towers. We also saw one along 290 and 34th Street. ABC 13's Courtney Fisher is there live this morning. And Courtney, I got to be honest, I called my dad and said, can you believe that these towers are down? Right, Samika, it's crazy to see this in real life out here. Look at this. These tower transition towers are, excuse me, <laughs> power towers, I should say, are easily more than 100 feet tall. And whatever came through here just crumpled them like paper. Look at this. Not only this one right behind us, this is where we're standing, but we just, now that it's light out, we're able to see much further down the way. And there are several others that are crumpled just like this one. So we get exactly what you said. This is one of the reasons why thousands of customers are waking up in the dark. We know this really hit where we are this morning in Northwest Houston and the Heights area pretty hard. It seems like home after home, street after street, nothing was untouched. You're going to hear from a woman. Her name is Jeanette. Uh, she lives next door to one of the four people who were killed last night in this storm. So I want to take uh, you to some videos so you get a sense of some of the trees that landed in some of these houses. This one over on Main and 610, that's where the man was killed. He was in his garage apartment when that massive tree crushed the top of his home, pinning him inside it. Jeanette, that neighbor I was telling you about who lives next door, she said that she and her fiance heard a loud boom. They went outside screaming, is everyone okay? She says she could hear family members yelling from inside that home that they needed help. Jeanette went outside to physically flag down a fire truck that was speeding by. She said she couldn't get through to anyone on 911. She says it took crews close to an hour to extricate that man killed by the fallen tree. How does anyone feel in this situation? It's not good um, knowing that someone so young died. And that, you know, um, it, it just it just shows you how short and precious life is. Really, I mean, every anything can happen in a moment. Yeah, and it did. That's the thing, right? It happened just so quickly. That's the thing people keep telling us this morning. Just in seconds, this storm rolled through, taking down huge transmission towers. It's just unbelievable out here. We're going to start to get into the neighborhood now that it's light and safe for us to drive around to just get a better sense of some of that damage. But for now, we'll send things back to you.